Recently released drone footage captured by Ukraine's 72nd Mechanized Brigade shows destruction in the eastern Ukrainian town of Volodar. Ukrainian forces are under severe pressure in the town, one of a belt of strongholds in the Donetsk region which, along with Luhansk, makes up the partly occupied Donbass. Russian forces are obliterating Volodar with glide bombs, while infantry units advance on the flanks in a bid to encircle the town, according to Andriy Kovalenko, head of Ukraine Center for Combating Disinformation of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine. Фура с автобусом загорелась на трассе прям степная. Да я думаю, сижу в хаос, думаю, да салют, салют не салют, думаю, взрывается. Ну, салют, на крышу залез, глянул, кумарь привод. Да? Автобус, автобус вот стоит лицом. Да я понял. А, да, вон мужики говорят, автобус с большой грузом. Ну, говорит, а вон фура же магнитовская, вон врачок готов. Так а там людей говорят же. А? В автобусе говорит с людьми. Ну тут не вон же, что А вы ходили? Ну вон какие-то а, автобусы. С открытыми переломами там он будет. Ну так крики, ты слышал, какие были кричали? Я да какой я в доме сижу, бах, бах, бах. Я... Мелкий, мелкий думал салют. Во двор есть. Выскочил во двор этот. Как крики как начали уже. Выскочил во двор, блин, малой. Нету, нету. Я говорю, зайди. Я что-то вышел, смотрю, кумарик, тянет. Офигеть. Да, я так зевал, я так зевал, я так зевал. Да, я так зевал, как я не смог, не смог, не смог. Commanders of the Russian troops blockaded at the Vovchansk aggregate plant maintained discipline through a regime of fear, violence and murder, Ukraine's intelligence report says. Dmitro, known by the pseudonym Linux, the commander of the Stuna unit of the Timor Special Forces of Ukraine, shared this information in an interview with Liganet. Over four months of blockade, Russian troops repeatedly attempted to breach the Vovchansk aggregate plant with most being killed in the effort, according to a special forces officer. He noted that the Russian command misled its soldiers with promises of rotation, breaking the blockade and support, leading to the frequent desertions and unsuccessful escape attempts. Russian logistics relied heavily on drone deliveries of water, food and ammunition, resulting in widespread hunger and thirst. The commanders of the blockaded Russian special forces maintained discipline through fear, violence and murder says Linux. 
He described how two Russian soldiers were shot dead by their commanders a few days before Ukraine's completely liberated the plant because they thought they had drank more water from a bottle than they were allowed to. Additionally, several wounded soldiers shot themselves due to a lack of medical care as their conditions worsened. The hunger at the plant became so severe that Russian troops resorted to killing and eating stray dogs. According to the captives, they considered eating the livers of dead Russian soldiers. We suspect they did so as we found severed pieces of meat and various organs on the bodies, said Dimitro. When the Russians took control of the plant, around 80 soldiers were present, most of whom were eliminated. In the final stages, special forces captured about two dozen prisoners who recognized the futility of further resistance and surrendered. The captives reported that the GRU special forces commanding them were either killed or attempted to withdraw, abandoning their subordinates at the plant. They were outraged that commanders hoarded most of the food and water delivered via drone drops. Additionally, the Ukrainian military learned that the Russian soldiers had dug a well in one of the basements to access groundwater, which helped sustain them during the blockade, as drone supplies alone were insufficient. We have information that there were attempts to dig trenches from the buildings in the area where the Russians were before the plant. For this purpose, they used their soldiers as well as Ukrainian prisoners, noted the Special Forces officer.